Hey guys, Stellar here. All right, I'm back with another Stellar Speaks video. And today I'm just ranting and raving, sharing my thoughts and opinions on the whole shit show that went on last night, uh, Friday, June 15th. Oh, Mumble Bear, if you're lurking and listening, yes, this video is going to be about you. Yes, I am talking about you. Yes, I too have the freedom of speech. If you don't like what I have to say, if you don't want to hear what I have to say, then don't listen. Don't come to my channel. You make the choice to come to my channel and push that play button. If you don't like it, then don't do it. All right, so anyhow, after my day is done and I have some downtime, I like to go into the chats. So that's what I did last night. I was watching drama live, then I heard Mumble Bear was live, and there was some drama that was popping off, so I was going back and forth between the two chats. Mumble Bear made the announcement that she was going to be going on someone's stream. She was going to be on someone's panel, and that really piqued my interest, so I thought, oh man, now i got to find out what is going to be said on this guy's panel. You know, I'm not even going to bash on this kid because I saw the way he behaved with Trisha. I saw how he behaved with Wendy. So, I mean, it was expected for this behavior to play out on his uh, live stream last night. So when I went in there, I wasn't like, oh my God, he's saying bad words. Oh my God, he's smoking weed. Oh my God, he's doing what? I knew it was expected. I, I saw it. This is his MO. You know, he's a young kid. The thing I can't get my mind around is you know, why he is taken up for Mumble Bear. You know, but this is my whole take on it. And um, I think he's her biggest troll. And I think it's hilarious if that's what he's doing, that he's trolling right underneath her nose and she's too blind to see it. You know, what I really thought was funny was, you know, obviously the guy had somebody in his room. Now he said it was a dude, but come on, dude, it was a girl, I heard her voice. But Mumble Bear says, oh, you got a friend there? Now, is this just a friend? Is this a friend? You got a friend there, honey? Huh? Is this a friend of yours? Ooh, Mumble Bear getting a little jealous. Really, come on, what do you think? You think you guys are going to move in together? I don't think this kid is looking for a, oh, God, I can't even say cougar. Whatever comes after a cougar. I don't think it's that deep. I, I think he's trolling you. And, dude, if you're trolling her, if, you deserve the troll award of the century right there. Um, but with that said, I know for a fact there are a few other people that are trolling her and she's too blind to see it and it's freaking hilarious. Hilarious. It's mean, but it's hilarious. But that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, so anyhow, um, you know what? I mean, whatever. This kid was doing what he was doing um, and it, it wasn't anything that I didn't expect. But my thing is, I didn't expect to for so many people to go along with it and egg it on, you know, and especially Mumble Bear. I, I get she's upset and she's mad and she hates that everybody's talking about her and picking on her, but you don't go down that route. You don't ignore the ones who are supporting you, you know, because the side chat was saying, look, Mama Bear, don't do this. Don't do this. This isn't good for you. And she wouldn't listen. All she kept saying was, I just want everybody to know that I don't agree with what's being said here. I had no idea what was going on. I'm just here. I'm just here visiting Juan, you know. I, I'm just here on the phone. I'm not on his panel, but I'm talking to him on the phone. But I don't I don't agree with this. Oh, Juan, you better be nice. Go, go easy on him. No. You're on the phone. You knew what was going on. You co-signed it. Whether you think you did or you didn't, you co-signed it. Because anybody who was in that position and felt uncomfortable, as I did, and I left the chat. Anybody who's on the phone and that's going on, all you do is say, look, it's your channel. I don't agree with what you're doing, but I'll talk to you later. Bye. Click. And it was the same deal with the auction. You know, she cried. Oh, I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing. I didn't co-sign nothing. But there she took the money. You're co-signing. You're co-signing. You're okay in it. You're giving it your stamp of approval. And you know the one thing that I find most hypocritical is that why is it that the same rules don't apply to Mumble Bear? You know, Mumble Bear makes up all these rules because 
okay, a few weeks ago or a week ago, whatever it was, in Ladies' Night, they played the clip of, you know, Mumble Bear shaking her jugs for Jesus in the, her pink teddy, and we all had a good laugh. Well, she didn't like it. She bitched us all out, and we're all guilty by association because we were in that chat. So we're all guilty of making fun of her and co-signing that it was okay to play that video. But why doesn't the same rule apply to her? She's guilty of co-signing that because she was on the phone with the kid while all this was going down. How is it any different? How is it any different? I laughed at the video. Okay, so she wants to say, well, you're co-signing it because you laughed. I did. I thought it was funny. I still think it's funny. It's a funny video. So anyhow, the rules don't apply to her and it's hypocritical and that's a thing I can't stand and it's just not with her because I've seen it with other people and that's the part that drives me the most crazy but I don't know if it's just people's ignorance or they just don't want to see it. They don't want to see it. But anyway, after the whole debacle last night, you know, I was thinking about it and of course I was kind of fuming about it and I just thought, you know what, I'm done, I'm done. So Linda, you will be happy to know this will be the last video I ever make of you. I'm not going to talk about you in my videos anymore. I'm not going to waste my time and my creativity on you. You're not worth it. You're not worth it. As far as I'm concerned, she dug her own grave. She covered herself up and she's gone to me. I'm not dealing with her anymore. And my suggestion for people in this community who are just completely fed up and done with her, do the same. Do the same. Just don't talk about her. Don't give her any attention because that's what she's thriving off of. You saw how long we dealt with that other person. Same thing. And the other person is coming around again. So get ready for wave number 265 because it's coming. It's coming. We're dealing with narcissistic people. There's no winning with them. No winning. The way you win with a narcissist is to ignore them. As for myself, I'm done. I'm done. Don't want to have nothing to do with this lady. I didn't watch her for a long time, then I got sucked in because of all the drama. Just go back to not watching her. Not watching her. But being that this is my last video, I'm going to make a count. So there are a few other things I'm going to add to this video. So keep on watching. Okay, there's a little something I have to address. Um, the other day, Mumble Bear was talking about me, of course, scolding me, blah, 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 blah. And I had people messaging me and telling me how sorry they were because she was calling me names and talking bad about me. I, I didn't know what they were talking about because I wasn't watching. Well, of course, I went back and I watched before she deleted the stream. That's the thing. Linda, if you're going to say things, if you're going to have the balls to say things, why do you keep deleting your streams? Come on. If you're going to be ballsy about it and make the video, then have the backbone to leave your video up. But anyway, I caught the video. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much, but I'll play the part that I wanted to address. And here's that clip. Nosy ass bitch. Mm-hmm. Get a life, young, young and dumb. Ooh, such a snappy comeback. Get a life, young and young and dumb. Get a life. I have a life. Thank you very much. A very fulfilling life. Thank you for your concern. You know what? I know what it's like to live in chronic pain because I deal with pain all day, every day. Difference is, I'm not rotting away in my bed. I deal with my pain and I get up and enjoy my life. So thank you for your concern. Okay, so you called me a nosy bitch. <laughs> really? Why'd you call me a nosy bitch? That's not very nice. <laughs> really? Come on, man. I'll be the first one to admit to you that I'm a nosy bitch. I'm a nosy ass bitch. I'm nosy AF. I'm nosy. I'll admit it. That's not an insult. I'm nosy. But you know what? Anyone who is in this community is nosy. And you, lady, are as nosy as they get. The difference between you and I, though, is that I, number one, don't pay to look at people's backgrounds, and I don't go to people's Facebooks and steal their pictures and put them on my Twitter. Oh yeah, Twitter. That's the whole reason why you did this video about me. You got pissed off because I went to your very public Twitter at that time, because I've heard you've made it private since then. Went to your public Twitter went back to March because you said you've been harassed since March and I screen recorded it and I gave my take on it and I pretty much proved that this has not been going on since 
March. And you didn't like that too much. But whatever, you know. So you made a video about it, called me out. You weren't too happy about it, but it's over, done. People will believe me or they'll believe you. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about really quickly is this whole watermark thing. I've had people come to me and ask, you know, is it true what she's saying about the watermark? Can I get in trouble? Now look, I'm somebody that has made videos. I know how to make videos. I know how to do certain things with videos. And I do not see a watermark on any of her videos. I myself didn't even know the process of using a watermark or how to make a watermark. I started looking into it and I figured it out. It's not that simple because there is a process that goes along with it. Basically, all a watermark is, is branding your videos. That's it. Here I have made a watermark for this video. It's just my name. So if anybody were to use my video, this video right here, they would have my name, Stellar, on the bottom of the video. You know, it's just a branding. Um, I'll show different examples. You'll see different examples play out here. But it's like with an app. Um, if you don't pay for certain apps, they will have a watermark with their logo or their brand. And, you know, it's usually with the free apps. And in order to get rid of those watermarks, all you have to do is pay for the app. And they will give you the version that doesn't have a watermark. Some people don't even mind if you use their video as long as they have their watermark and you can see their watermark because then it still gets credited to them. And if I wanted to, I could use this as my watermark. This is a watermark as well. Um, I, I know she probably get pissy because she thinks that she's the only mama bear in the world. She thinks she has coined that phrase, but you know what? I was considered a mama bear many, many years ago. And I'm sure that holds true for many of us mothers here in this YouTube land. Um, but that's all it is. It's just branding. Unless you're a big corporation, I don't think an attorney is going to be like, oh, let's go to court. Let's sue these people over peddly, crappy YouTube videos. Um, but anyway, I'm done. I'm done talking about Mumble Bear. Um, as far as I'm concerned, she doesn't exist anymore. And I think for people who are really just fed up and tired of the shenanigans and the bullshit, you just need to ghost her. Just forget about her. Stop giving her attention. Don't talk about her in streams. If she comes into streams, just ignore her. Just make her go away. Let her find her own community. Let her find her own little group. And just be done with it because it's not going to stop. It's going to keep on going and going and going. All right. Well, that's all I got to say about that. Um, I'll be back with other videos because I need to go in a different direction. And I, too, have been branching out a little bit more, hopefully to find some different things to do. But anyway, as far as Mumble Bear goes, I'm done. All right, you guys have an awesome day.